but it is going to be okay. There we go. All right. So we are live. It is now 12 o'clock. The hand just turned to noon. So welcome to Lunchtime Stamping at Noon. I'm Tina Carini at spongeandstamp.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator coming to you from beautiful Byron, Georgia. Okay. Ah, oh, I love the thumbs up. Thank you so much. So I hope that you guys are having a wonderful week so far. It's the middle of the week and you guys know I have to say it. I know it's old and you don't hear it very often, but it's hump day. So <laughs> I had to say that. I love saying stuff, stupid stuff, but corny stuff, whatever you want to call it. But anyway, hey Megan, glad you're here. So I have two cute cards to show you guys today. I have two housekeeping things, actually three housekeeping things to, to breeze over real quick. And um, yeah, so we're going to have some fun stamping today. Hey, Chris, glad you're here too. So I, um, I'll give you a sneak peek of one of the cards that we're going to do. This is, we're going to use different colors and I'm not going to use a die because I want to make it a little bit more simpler. So that's one of the cards that we're going to do, but in a little bit different colors. The other card I don't have made. We're just going to do it on the fly, but I know what we're doing, so we're cool there. I'm pretty sure I have everything I need here. I'm sure there'll be something I don't, but we'll just deal with that as it comes, right? Because it's all about just having fun, and it is hot in this studio today. Um, hey, Lynette, glad you're here too. So thank you guys so much for joining me. Just a quick reminder about my class that's coming up on next week. It's next Thursday, so it's the 27th. And it is, um, thank you for liking, sharing, and commenting. I appreciate it so much. It really does help me out. And it helps share the world of stamping and the fun that we have. I really do appreciate it. Um, what was I saying? My class is Thursday, the 27th of this month at 6.30. So it is RSVP. Um, I, if you guys want to come, just please make sure that you RSVP. We're going to have a good time. It's a special class. It is the catalog kickoff too. So we're going to do a little bit with that. I'm going to have some prizes for you guys and um, stuff like that. So it's going to be a lot of fun. So I hope that you RSVP because I want to see you here at my class. So I am going to wait for the other announcements. I'll do those when we pan down so that I you can see the flyers and stuff. There's just two more, just real quick. So I guess if you guys are ready to get started, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to flip this phone down and hopefully we don't have any mishaps here because you know how it goes with me <laughs> i might have to unplug my phone just because um i don't want to pull my lamp down so sometimes i just don't leave myself enough cord all right, so, but I know I got to plug this in because if I don't, we may lose power. Okay, my phone will probably die. How do we look? Do we look okay, guys? I hope so. Okay, so a couple of the announcements is Paper Pumpkin for June's Paper Pumpkin. Um, to subscribe is between the 11th of May, which is already passed, to June 10th. So you have to June 10th to subscribe. It's an amazing kit to have. It comes monthly. It is a prepaid subscription kit. You pay it monthly or you can um, prepay for three months, six months, a year. You save a little bit the more you, the, the longer you um, subscribe to. Um, this kit in this beautiful, doesn't this look like the technique that I showed you guys not too long ago? It is so beautiful. It's called Make a Splash, Dream and Discover in Color with this month's Paper Pumpkin Kit with inspiring ink-stained elements and a stamp set with sentiments for any occasion. Sending a splash of smile is simple. It is simple, you guys, and it's so much fun. Everything that you need to create the projects in this box come in the box. 
Um, the only thing that doesn't would be your paper snips and a block. But it do, your first kit does come with a, with a block, so you want to hang on to that. Don't get rid of it because you'll need it for all your other kits. Um, it contains enough supplies to create nine cards and coordinating envelopes, so you'll be making nine cards. It includes includes an exclusive stamp set and two classic stamping spots. So normally you only get one stamping spot. So this month you will be getting um, two. So that's really awesome. It's featuring the new, um, the 2020-2022 and the 2021 and 2023 in colors. So that's awesome. So you get all the pretty colors and it coordinates with products from the Expressions of Ink collection, which I believe this is it right here on the cover. So this is a beautiful suite. So it coordinates with that too. I was going to see if I couldn't find it real quick. I probably should have um, flagged it so that I could find it faster for you guys. Ah, la, 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 la. Um, I do not see it. Mm -hmm. I don't see it. So I can't, it'll take me forever to try to find it. I know this right here. Isn't that beautiful? That is so, so beautiful. Um, but I know the suite is in here. So I really do love, love, love when Stampin' Up! makes their kits to coordinate with, with other suites. It just it stretches that kit out further so that you can make more and more and more and more and send love and hugs in smiles in the mail. So I really do love it. Well, I can't find it really fast. I was hoping that I would be able to. But you guys kind of get the picture. It's really, really pretty. It's a new suite in the new annual catalog. Speaking of the new annual catalog, if you are not currently working with a demonstrator and you would like to have one of these beauties in your hands, I would be more than happy to get you one. Just message me, PM me, email me at spongeandstamp.com. Sorry, spongeandstamp at hotmail.com. And let me know that you would like a catalog and give me your mailing address and I will get one off right to you. Okay, um, next thing. Oh, don't forget, you got to subscribe by June 10th. This is an amazing deal for $22 and that includes shipping. Okay, next thing. There's not too much longer left to do the join plus. It ends on the 31st of this month. It is $99. Shipping is free. You get to choose $155 worth of product of your choice in any of the current catalogs. Um, so you're getting $51 worth of free product. Uh, that is pretty stinking cool, I think. And then also, normally it's $125 worth of free product. So that is a good deal. You're not obligated in any way. You don't have to send it back if you decide that it's not for you. Um, but I don't see why you would because there's so many perks to being a demonstrator. Plus you get to save a minimum of 20%. You can, you can um, get more than 20%, but it's just how much you want to do, how much you buy, how much you sell. Shipping is free. I know I said that. Um, plus you get your free business supplies. So if you want to run a business, you can, you got those in the kit and the kit as well. And let's see, you get a free past paper pumpkin. Um, let me see. Plus all the perks of being a demonstrator. So you get to be the first to see everything that comes out. And you get to pre-order from the catalogs before they go live. There's incentive trips that you can earn, all kinds of stuff. So whatever the level that you want to do, if you want to just be a discount shopper, if you want to run a business, you can run it at your level the way you want to. And that's it. No strings attached. 
You don't have to run a business. You can just be a discount shopper. You can just have a couple of your friends and families just to order from you. And that's it. All right. So we are done with the announcements. Except for, let me tell you, I would really love for you to join my team. Sign up under me. That will be so awesome. And I will place a link in the description when this video is done sometime today. Okay, let me see. Let's get the stamp in. So this is the card. It's not going to be exactly like that. We are going to be using Quiet Meadow and the Meadow dies that coordinate with it. You can purchase this in a bundle and save 10%. Um, it's a pretty awesome bundle. I really have been enjoying it and been having so much fun with it. So we got Bermuda Bay, eight and a half, five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. We have a scrap of Bermuda Bay to do some die cutting. We have a piece of designer series paper. This is the brand new in colors, 19, um, 19. 2021-23 in colors. This is two and seven eighths by four and a quarter. We're going to be using this side. So that's what I'm doing a little different too outside of colors is I've decided to use a piece of designer series paper instead of just cardstock and I'm not going to cut out the scalloped rectangle using my Stitch So Sweetly dies. I just kind of wanted it to be um, a little more simpler because not all of us have dies and all of that. So I didn't want you to think that you could not recreate this card because you can. All right, um, then we have our inside piece, which is five and a quarter by four. And then we have this, so we're gonna cut this down so you don't have to really worry about the measurements on this one for our image. Okay, so let's go ahead, put this aside. I'm gonna put this here. So what I'm gonna start with is we are gonna use the meadow dies. So you will need this bundle to make this card. Um, we're gonna use this die right here that makes this little leafy fern thing. And we're gonna do it in Bermuda Bay. And we're gonna cut out, we're gonna cut several of these out. So you can cut as many as you want to or as less as you want to, depending on how many, how much you want on your background. So um, I don't need these, so I'm just gonna stick these right here. I do need them for the next card though. Okay, so we're gonna run this through the stamp and cut and boss machine, and otherwise known as the boss. Okay. There we go, so we've got that out. So that die cuts really nicely, and then you just kind of work it out, just like so. All right, so we're done with that. I dropped something. So you guys, later on, when I can't find something, remind me to look on the floor, because it's probably where it is. All right, let's go ahead. I am just gonna poke these little things out right here, just like so. And then here is my pile of them that I already cut out because I didn't think you really wanted to sit here and watch me die cut all of those. <laughs> so I'm going to put this back in here so that I don't lose it. And stick these in here and put these out of the way because we're done with those for now. No, we are done with them. Okay, and... So what I did with these, let's go ahead and do some stamping first. Let's get that out of the way. So we're going to be using this flower and what else? Um, this larger flower right here. Hopefully you guys can see that. Can you see, you guys, do I have this? I don't think I have it right. Let me, let me see if I can't fix it. Okay. All right, so we've got that, that, that. We're gonna stamp in Bermuda Bay and Pale Papaya. I have no idea how these two colors are gonna really look together once they're together, but I thought that they would be fun, so that's why I chose them. And I didn't really wanna do everything in the new in colors, so. Let's, although they're beautiful and I've been doing so much with them, but I think that's wise because I have been doing so much with them. 
um, that kind of need a little bit of a break. It will be a beautiful card. Good. You guys can see good. All right. Trying to keep up with y'all's comments too. All right. So let's go ahead. We are, well, I want to make sure that I've got this the right way for stamping. For some reason, this looks a whole lot smaller, but it's not. It is, gosh, I love Bermuda Bay so much. It's one of my absolutely favorite colors. All right, we are just going to stamp around and just kind of fill in a little bit just like that. All right, so I'm happy with the way that looks. So we're gonna close this up, and then we're gonna bring in pale papaya, and we're gonna use this little flower, the larger of the two little flowers. And we are just gonna stamp, oops, heavy-handed there. Didn't need to push down so hard. It's all right. It's nothing but a thing. Maybe we will put a bling bling there. That will work, right? I think so. Okay, just like that, and then one here. All right, so now we've filled in with the flowers. So now what I'm gonna do is I want a little bit of splattering on it. So I'm bringing in crumb cake, and I'm just gonna get some ink in here in the lid, and then I am just gonna kind of flick it, hopefully. <clears throat> Just kind of flick it down. You can put as much or as less as you want. I think I'm good with that. So can you guys see that? That looks so, I really like that. That looks very pretty. Okay. Now, we are going to put that aside. We're going to stamp our flower in the inside for our card, too. And I'm going to stamp it right down here in the left-hand corner, just like that. So that's ready. And then we're going to stamp our sentiment. Actually, you know what? I think I might wait on that one because I'm not quite sure what I want to stamp it in. Um, if I want to stamp it in basic gray, which is what I stamped this one in, or if I want to stamp it in crumb cake because I brought in crumb cake, I don't know. Okay, so now what we got to do is cut all these little ferny things apart. So we're going to cut this right here like that, and then we're going to cut, just cut them all off. So that I probably should have went ahead and did this because this will take some time. So there's that and that, and there's that one, because we need quite a few of these, because I want it to be really nice and full. So that's, and then we can just trim that and trim that. Yeah, I should have cut these ahead. Sorry, you guys. Okay, and then and trim that. There we go. Try to get all these out of the way. I can't remember how many I used on that on the um, fresh freesia because I did that card a while ago and I just don't remember. It would probably be helpful if I did remember. But we only got two more to go. It's not taking so long, right? <laughs> Are you guys with me? Okay, here we go. Whoops, that one didn't cut all the way. And then we've got to trim this one right off like so. Trim that. And then one more. And then we can start assembling our card. for assembly. Okay, so there are different ways that you could do this. You could die cut all those out using the um, the sticky sh sheets of paper. Um, I can't 
can't think of the name of it now. It just left me. Or you can use, um, well, the heat and stick powder might be a little, little too much, a little take too long. Um, or you can do it like I'm going to do, which is just using um, some liquid glue. And then you're just careful about how much you put on it because you don't want it to ooze out. But you want it to lay completely flat. And I might have to go and get a new bottle because I don't really want to mess with this one. So I'm just putting it on here. And because I'm not going to put a whole lot, I got to be make sure that I put it right where I want it because there's not going to be any sliding it around. So... But this just takes a little time, but boy, I think it gives the wow factor. I really like this. And it puts the dies to use along with the stamp set. And it's a really unique looking background. And we don't have any embossing folders that have this look. So I like it. All right, so I'm just going to start in this corner and I'm going to put those right there. You can put them off the edge if you wanted to and then trim them all off. Some of them I might. Some of them I might not. I'm not really 100% sure. And you want them to go in different directions too. You don't want them all to go the same direction. So, so funny story you guys. Um, the one, those of you that were with me on Friday night, you know that I was trying to get through the Facebook Live in time to go pick up my son. Well, I was five minutes late, um, but he wasn't ready to go. I still waited like 20 minutes. Can you believe that? But there was a little bit of excitement going on because as I was coming down one of the roads to turn into the church parking lot, there was a police officer there who was stopped at the red light with his, um, lights on and I thought wow what's going on there was a little commotion in the parking lot across the street and I um I thought wow there's something going on but I didn't see an accident or anything like that but when I was I'm just pulling this up so I can kind of see what I did um but when I pulled pulled around I saw that there was some people running because the field that where they were playing there I forget what it was called. It's some big blow up balloon beach ball looking thing that they get inside of it and then they play soccer and they knock each other down. It actually looked kind of crazy, but they had a great time. Um, saw some people running to the other side of the church where all the commotion was at. And then when my son finally came out with his friends, they took off running down there. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And then when he finally came back, he told me that there was a high-speed chase. And so I'm thinking that he, Jacob said he was coming down Sardis Church Road from the opposite direction that we come down to go to the church. So I am so grateful that he didn't decide to go straight through the red light because I was there. But um, I probably am going to wait to trim all this. Okay, so that was a little bit of excitement, I tell you. And um, <laughs> so, yeah, so the guy was going really fast. So what he did was he was coming down Sarge's church, and then he took, he took a, a right, and he went past the field where they were playing. Thank goodness he didn't flip in there. Um and then I guess they had a roadblock up down the street. So he whipped his car around and came back flying. He And Jacob said he was flying fast. I didn't see it. I completely missed that part. But then the next thing you know, I did see all of the um, fire trucks and all the emergency vehicles and all of that. And the guy went through the red light and flipped and his car caught on fire last i heard he did get out okay but i'm sure he's in a lot of trouble okay so that was a little bit of excitement <laughs> so i'm kind of glad in one aspect that i was running a little late because who knows 
Who knows where that guy really started from or came from. And it's too close for me because I just drive a little Yaris. So somebody coming that fast, they'd have killed me. <laughs> it'd have flattened me like a pancake. So I'm really glad that I missed all that. I know, I know. I'm so grateful that I was not in the middle of all that. That was really interesting. I kept waiting to see, because usually when stuff like that happens, there's, you know, um, something will post about it, but there wasn't anything that posted about it. So I don't really know what happened. And I guess maybe the, the kid might have been underage and that's why they didn't um, talk about it. They usually talk about everything else on the news, but they didn't, they didn't. So I have no idea what really happened or why he was running from the police or whatever, but obviously he was doing something he should not have been doing. That is for sure. Okay. So... I'm trying to talk to you guys why we do this because this takes does take a little bit of time and I'm not getting them all glued completely flat um, but you guys get the picture and you see this is not hard it just takes a little time but boy is it worth it because it's so so pretty or at least I think so <laughs> all right so we got this we got this one this way just like that and then I need one to come up here so we'll use one of these little ones you don't have to put it all over the card front because your focal point is going to cover most of it so you don't have to so I think I'm gonna come this way you don't have to but you do want to make sure that you get enough on there to where it does cover. And I need one more down here. So. And you can put these on any way that you want to. You can do your card however you want to do it. It is perfectly fine. This is just to inspire you. Okay. There we go. So now I'm going to take my scissors and I am just going to cut some of these pieces off that are hanging over. And there we go. So isn't that pretty? You could even use that for a frame and um, put an oval in there or something. I don't know. I don't think we have ovals anymore though. All right. So this can go what is on my paper, a little boogie, a little glue dot. Okay, so this is gonna go right here, just like so. So, um, I am gonna glue this down. Oh, my Bermuda Bay on the computer doesn't look as bright and pretty as it is. It's not really muted like that at all. I wonder why the color's off. Hmm, it's not what it looks like. Almost looks like I'm using pretty peacock, but it's not. It is a bright, beautiful color. It is the color of my walls in here, actually. All right, so there we go. We've got that down, and I'm trying not to talk too much, which I am, and I wanted to pop this up, but it's okay. We'll pop the other one up. We'll pop this one up right here. So this is going to go across here, and we'll pop that up. See? Never, no, no fail, no fail. Nothing is, nothing is a biggie. Just improvise, that's all. You just improvise. Okay, so we will take these off. <laughs> Got to fall. All right, so I am going to put this. Kind of center this on here, just like that, I think. Okay, 
so there we go. Oh my gosh, I do like those colors together. And then save these for another card, or if you do multiple of these, you already have some cut out and ready to go. All right, so now we are, what do we gotta do? We gotta do the sentiment, and we gotta do some bling bling. We're gonna go ahead and adhere the inside to our card. There is tons of glue in this bottle, but I think it's drying in my cap because I don't ever put my lids back on. So I'm gonna have to declog it. <laughs> you think I'd learned my lesson after, well, after a couple of times of doing that, but I don't. It's all right, and I'm having problems getting this straight, and I'm going with that. Okay, so there we go. Now our sentiment, so we're going to bring this in. So what do you think I should do? Think I should stamp it in crumb cake or pale papaya? I think if I stamp it in Bermuda Bay, it will be too much. So we'll just stamp it a couple times and see what we like. How about that? <laughs> All right, so we are using You Are Too Kind because I'm always in need of thank you cards. I'm going to come down here. Hopefully I can stamp this straight. Nope, of course not. Okay, that's straighter, but I didn't give myself enough room. Oh, All right. Ugh. All right, you guys, I'm going to have to stick my head right in here. Then I heavy stamper. Okay, let's try this again. I am there. We go. It's still a little crooked, but I can cut it, make it straight. Okay, so and then you know what? I think I want it. What do you guys think? In in crumb cake. Or I guess let me do pale papaya. Let me do pale papaya too. Oh, I gotta clean this off though. Okay, so let's get our little chamois out. Get that all nice and clean. Let's ink that up. Oh, now that's straight. Pale papaya. Pale papaya. It stands out more. I really wanted to use the crumb cake because we used the crumb cake splatter, but it's all right. Okay, so we are going to bring in the tool that makes you guys nervous. <laughs> that I have so much fun with until I chop my finger off one day. Okay, so we're going to cut that right there. And cut this right there, like so. And then we're going to trim this. Um, <laughs> we're going to trim this. I think I want to trim it a little more. So, probably about like that. There we go. All right, I should trim some more on the bottom too. Now, what we could do to make this stand out a little bit more is um, we could cut a little pale papaya, piece of pale papaya to um, give it a background, to give it a background. So let me see what we meant, what we cut this to. Do, 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 do. Let's see, two and an eighth by um, half an inch. So we'll do, what did I say it was? Three and an eighth, two and an eighth, two and an eighth, two and an eighth. Okay, so we could cut this down to. Um, we could cut this down to, okay, so that's a half. So let's do 
three quarters of an inch. I think by two and an eighth. So let's do two and three eighths, five eighths, right? One, two, three, three eighths. Let's see if I did my math right. I don't know. Okay, so, well, we really could have done it a little bit smaller. Oh, I cut that crooked too. So we could go just like that. I kind of like it, but I think I want it to be um, a little bit shorter. So let's just trim a little bit here. Well, let's just throw measurements right out the window. What do you say? I say okay. <laughs> So let's just do that and that. Actually, I think this side's the one that's crooked. So right out of there. Let's do, let's try, let's try this. Let's see how we like that. <laughs> Alright. Um, I think I like that okay, but I really want it to be a little skinnier. So We'll try it a little bit more. If you don't like it, just cut. I think that's going to be too much. I think I might have just messed up. No, that's good. I would have liked to have just a little tiny bit more, but no, I think that's good. Okay, so we're going to adhere that to our pale papaya layer just so that the sentiments just stands out a little bit more. That's all I wanted it to do. Just add a little something, something. Okay. Let's get this out of the way. Get that out of the way. And let's see. We are going to pop this up too. So, let's see here. We can cut some dimensionals. How about that? Right there. Put that right across the back of that. Pull the backing off. And then we're almost done. We got a couple of um, bling blings because we got to cover that. We got to cover that. So I don't know if I want to use the new ink color um, jewels. These are so gorgeous. In the pale papaya, I think I will. I think I'll just use those. Um, so we will take a bigger one kind of hide that a little bit. You can still see it, but not that much. You'd have to really look for it. And then we'll put one about down here. And then we'll put another one up here. So there you guys go. What do you think? Isn't that a cool technique to use your dies to for your background? And then I think that's really pretty. And then, you, like I said, we use designer series paper instead of scalloped die. But you could cut this using your Stitch Show Sweetly, or there's a new set of dies, too, that you can get. I don't remember the name of them. I think they come with color color something. It's a, You can get it in a bundle, or um, you can buy them separately. But if you buy them in a bundle, you save 10%. It's a really awesome stamp set too. I opted not to get that one because I do have my Stitch So Sweetly dies that they're they're similar. They there are some differences, but I opted not to at this point. Um, but I love this. I love the way that looks, and I love Bermuda Bay. So there's the original one, and here is the second, the one we just created. So which one is your favorite? I'd like to know. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad you love it. All right. So I'm going to put these aside. And then we're going to pull in our fun, fun, fun one. This one's not going to be fancy at all. Um, and I hope that you like my color choice. Because I went round and round and round and round with it. But we have an inside piece of our card. This is five and a quarter by four. Our cardstock, this is soft succulent. This is a new in color. This is rich razzleberry. This is cut at five and a quarter by four two. This is also, this is eight and a half, five and a half, 
and I didn't score it. So we'll just fold it in half. But normally you would score it at four and a quarter. So we are just going to fold this in half. Yeah, the blue one is my favorite too. Bermuda Bay. But it's actually more of a teal, greeny color than, than what is showing up on here. Which is really weird because these colors are pretty close. Looking at the screen, they're pretty close to what they really are. I don't know why the Bermuda Bay was um, looking a little different there. This is three by four, no, three by five and a quarter, or is it? Oh, it is not. Let me make sure I have my measurements right here. Give you guys the wrong measurements, that would not be good. So this should be five and a quarter. It is, this is five and a quarter. So, did this and this go all the way down? No. Okay, yeah. Okay, so five and a quarter by three, five and a quarter by four. Then these are two by four. So two inches by four inches. So both of these. I cut two of them just in case I messed up. So we only really need one. So what we're gonna use with this is we're gonna be using two different stamp sets and some dies. So this is the basic border dies. I showed you guys, I think Friday night, was it? Maybe, I don't remember. Um, so the really cool border dies, I absolutely love them. I had intended to use this one, but we ended up using this one. Um, just because I did. Because I am a girl and I can change my mind. <laughs> Actually, on this card, I changed my mind a couple of different times. <laughs> so I really hope that you guys like this card, too. If you don't, it really won't hurt my feelings. But let's see. So we have, did I tell you our card base? Folded in half. We have designer series paper. This is the new in-color designer series paper in soft succulent. So soft succulent cardstock, soft succulent designer series paper, rich razzleberry. So, I'm really hoping that you guys like these colors together. Now, my, my theory was, because when I did it, but I didn't put the card together, I cut them separately. But I was wondering how it would work if I cut them together. So, I do not know if this is going to work or not. We're going to find out together. And then, if not, I have pre-cut ones already. So then we will know that we have to cut them separately. We will know that. All right, so I am going to place this down towards the bottom of this, and I'm going to line this up as even and as straight as I can get it. And then we're, this is where our washi tape comes in. We are going to I want to make sure that these are perfectly lined up though. Okay, let me try this again. Stick these on here. Make sure that they are even on each side or as even as I can get them. Okay, I think that's pretty good. We're going to put our washi tape right there. And then I'm going to eyeball. If you want to make sure that yours is perfectly straight, you can use grid paper um, and line it up on that and then move it to your, um, to your base, your cutting plate. But I am okay with just eyeballing it. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna run this through. I'm gonna cross my fingers that this works. Okay. I'm all about saving a step. Okay, let's take this off and keep our fingers crossed. Move these. I need to put these back into the die real quick, you guys, because I'm learning that I need to do that or I lose things. So, you know, I would be heartbroken if I lost one of these dies. So let's go ahead and put that in there. Just like so. 
And let's see what we got here. Oh, please tell me you cut. Yay! It worked. It worked. So all we're going to do is adhere this to the Rich Razzle Berry. I'm going to move this plate out of the way because we're done with it. We're going to just line that up there. We're going to center it. Um, you guys, give me a second. Let me let me get another thing of glue because that's really just. I'm going to have to declog it somehow or another. So let me go ahead and open a new one. All right. You got to remember. You know what I did do though? I cut the wrong side. I wanted the plaid side. Will it still line up? It will. It just won't show the stitching as well. I think it'll be fine because I want the plaid side. Okay, so we are going to just, whew, that glue came out fast. Okay, we're going to line this up, center it where we want it to be centered how much we want on the bottom and the top to show of the rich razzleberry. And I think I am pretty good with that. Okay, so then we're gonna bring in our card base, a soft succulent. I am gonna put some glue on the back of this. And then I'm gonna center this where I want it to be. So I am gonna put it probably about, or it needs to come a little more this way. Um, it needs to come up. Oh, come on, cooperate with me, would you? Just like that, I think. Over a little bit more. There we go. All right, I'm okay with the way that looks. All right, there we go. So that's down. And the, do you guys like those two colors? I think that they are very, very pretty. Yes, Chris, that saves a step if you cut them both at the same time. And then you know that they're perfectly lined up, too. I cut these different, but two different times. But, um, and they line up fine. You just got to make sure that you put it in the exact same place that you cut the first one. All right, so now this is going to come into play, and that's where these two stamp sets are coming in. So this is a brand new one, Sunny Sentiments. We're going to use thank you for all the little things you do and for all and for your big heart. We're going to use that sentiment, and then we're going to pull in the butterfly from Positive Thoughts. Okay, so I have them already blocked up just like so and I didn't get my label on very straight I thought I was putting it on straight but was not and we are going to stamp that in um what do I end? we're going to stamp the sentiment in soft succulent in all actuality I have two here so we can try them both ways and see what we like not a big deal. Okay, so I am going to try my best. I'm going to stick my head in the camera. I know I am. Maybe if I stand up to stamp this straight. I'm going to try my best. I don't know. Nope. <laughs> Flip it over. <laughs> oh. Did you see what I did? Okay, so we're doing it this way. We're not going to do it both ways and see what we like. Uh, why can't I get this straight? Hold on one second. I am going to see if I can't. Now that's straight. Why didn't it stamp straight before? <laughs> because of course not. You're live. It's not going to stamp straight. Ah, see, look at that. Do you believe that? Will it look bad? Yes. All right, so <laughs> let's go ahead and cut a couple more of those. It won't take a second. Oh, good. I'm glad you guys love the colors. I think they're really cool, too. Um, two inches, four inches, four inches. Four inches. 
<laughs> oh, I tell you, I should put it on my stamparatus. That's what I should do. I should use that awesome tool more. If you guys have problems stamping straight, you should check in the annual catalog and look for the stamparatus. Okay, so let's try this again. <laughs> Okay, so I am probably just going to stick my head right in here and see. I don't know. There we go. All right, so there's that one. And then we are going to use the Rich Razzleberry. And we are going to ink up our butterfly. We're going to stamp off once. You can stamp off twice. I'm going to just stamp off once. I'm going to bring this in because we're going to probably go off a little bit. And I'm going to just stamp in the corner just like so. That is so pretty. And I think that's what we're going to do. I don't think we're going to do the Rich Razzleberry too. Although I did bring this in. We could try it. We can try it. You guys want to see what it looks in reverse? Or do you like this? Um... Here we go. Got my shami. Got my shami. And clean these off. And then let's, hopefully I can get this straight. Oh, did I just, hopefully I can get this straight. Ink this, this image up. I'm going to have to stick my head back in the camera again. Sorry guys. But I really want to make sure that I'm getting this straight. Not too bad. Could have come over this way more. And then we'll do the green butterfly. The soft succulent. We'll do that. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're right there. But I did that in the darker color. I like the pink butter. I like this one better. Yeah, I like this one better. <laughs> Oh, I'm glad you enjoy. You like this card. Oh, okay. What did I do with the card, though, you guys? <laughs> there it is. All right. Then we're going to pop this up. And if you wanted to, you could do this fancier. You could um, you could layer this. You could layer it with a, with a, um, a scalloped edge or something. I am okay with it being just like this for simplicity. Because I just, oh, we got a new one. Yay. Um, I just want you guys to see that it's really, really easy. And yes, you need a couple of tools, but not like tons of tools to make some pretty cards. And it's fun. And whoever receives it is going to love it. <laughs> All right. We are going to take these off. And we're going to put that right here. I really don't like looking at things in an angle because I really struggle. Okay, there we go. Um, and then, you know what, guys? Let's put some bling on here. And let's see, let's bring in... I absolutely love these in colors. And I'm thinking I'm going to use the Evening Evergreen for this. I think that will work beautifully. So we're going to use one of those. I'm going to put one there and put one, huh, here and maybe here. Actually, I kind of want it to go here. There we go. So what do you guys think? Hope you like it. I don't have the original to compare it to because like I said, this was in my head and pre-cut some of it so that it would be a little faster, but we ended up cutting anyway. Okay. So that was using the Sunny Sentiments. This is a beautiful sentiment stamp set to have. It's got uh, thought you, you could use some sunny thoughts today 
a happy hello to you. Hoping your birthday is filled with all the best things. Thank you for all the little things you do and for the big heart, not just the one that we used. And then it's got a little cute, pretty little sentiment too um, that you can use on the inside or you can use it on the outside of your card as well. It says, I know I've, we've been out of touch, but I think about you more often than you know. So that would go really great with either the birthday one or the thought you could use some sunny thoughts or the happy hello. I think that would be really cool. That's a nice stamp set to have. And it's brand new. It's in the annual catalog. Okay, you guys. I think that is it for today. I um, knew there was something I was supposed to do and something I was going to say, but I don't remember what it was. Don't forget about my class if you live local um, in Central Georgia. Don't forget about my class. It is Thursday next week, Thursday the 27th at 6.30. Please RSVP because I have to cut and prepare for um, for the class. So let's see. And oh, really consider joining up and getting that big discount and getting that free stuff. Um, $55 worth of, $56 worth of free product, free shipping. There's no shipping, so you're saving a whole bunch there too. And a free past paper pumpkin, and then all the perks to being a demonstrator. So I would really love to have you on my team. And don't forget, if you're interested in the paper pumpkin, that is an amazing deal. It's an awesome kit to have. Um, you have to, to subscribe no later than, what did I say? No later than June 10th. I don't want to give any wrong dates. June 10th. So, yep, that's it. Okay, <laughs> thank you guys so much for joining me. If you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much. I hope that you guys are having a wonderful day. If you have not subscribed to my channel, I hope that you do by clicking on that red subscribe button below. Don't forget to ring the bell icon so that you, can, you won't miss any future videos of mine. And I love to hear from you guys too. Please comment and give me a thumbs up. That really does help me out. I hope that you guys liked the, the cards today. You guys have a wonderful rest of the week. And I will see you live on Facebook Friday at 8 o'clock. Okay, you guys. Toodle-dee-doo.